On the campaign trail, Hugo Chavez is reduced to tears as he tells voters he's ready to retire, but not just yet. I pray to God that he grant me my last dream to free myself of all this, but only after we have made the country that we dream of a reality. It's Chavez's bid for another six-year term, and he's focused his appeal on Venezuela's youngest voters, a generation that has grown up with him as president. His challenger, free market advocate Enrique Capriles Radonsky, is nearly 20 years younger than Chavez, and the president's once fractured opposition have united behind him. Dinero. In campaign ads like this one, Capriles is telling voters that Chavez has presided over record crime, corruption, and a squandering of Venezuela's oil wealth on foreign aid projects. I want to use our resources to solve the problems of our own people, not those of other countries. Capriles' message is resonating with many. Capriles is right when he says there's a lot of insecurity, a lot of misery. Poverty has increased too much. After 14 years, we have to get rid of this communism. But a 34 percent increase in government spending this year, much of it on social welfare programs, has bolstered Chavez's appeal among Venezuela's lower income citizens, who've always been his most ardent supporters. He is the only president who's done things for this country. If we talk about the opposition, the fact is they only talk lies, and hiding behind them are the Yankees. What Chavez no longer talks about is his health. After three surgeries and multiple rounds of treatment for cancer, he still hasn't said what kind, the president has declared himself cured, but he's also limited his campaign schedule. There are sufficient reasons to think that the president is having physical problems which hinder a more active presence, and this could cost him in terms of support and mobilizing voters. Most independent polls show Chavez maintaining a comfortable lead over Capriles, but with up to 20 percent of the electorate still undecided, the outcome is far from sealed. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.